2023 was the year of AI, but if you're someone who's still trying to catch up with AI in 2024, I'm going to be talking about five things you can do, almost like your generative AI roadmap for 2024. I'm going to jump right to the chase. So the first one would be to actually go hands-on and learn things like chat GPT if you haven't used them before or if you haven't used these tools before. Even if you don't feel like you can use these tools in your day-to-day -day work at this point of time, which I find very hard to believe given the amount of things these tools can do. I'd recommend picking up use cases. So let's say you are someone who's working in the e-commerce delivery space. You can look at doing product research, writing descriptions, gen generating text, images, and even audio on a day-to-day -day basis. So my first advice would be to just go in complete hands-on with these tools, specifically with ChatGPT, Bing Image Creator, and Google Bard. If you have use cases where you want to do research, even if you don't feel the need to use these tools right now, force these tools into the workflow. A lot is going to be happening in 2024 when it comes to AI, so it makes sense to pick these tools up. If you don't know where to start, I have a free AI course listed on YouTube. I'm going to be adding the link in the description. You can see it on the screen right now. So consider going through the course itself. It's like a mini course that will help you catch up with all the AI tools that you need to know in order to stay ahead in 2020. Second would be to start talking about or teaching AI in general across social media channels. According to me, the best way to learn something is to teach it to someone else. And if you teach on platforms like YouTube or LinkedIn, you almost have like this virtual commitment to keep delivering the content, which will in turn ensure that you keep learning newer things to talk about newer things in the end. Third, once you get comfortable with these tools and you've started talking to the audience, it makes sense to explore new tools and ensure that you have a consistent flow for your content. You can find all of these new tools on websites like there's an AR for that. So you can see it on my screen right now. You can also sign up for the Explanix AI newsletter or you can find these tools on futuretools.io. These websites are very real time when it comes to generative AI tools. You can also look at things like Product Hunt where these new tools are launched on a day-to-day -day basis. But learning about these new tools, trying to fit them in your use cases would ensure that you're not only using the most cutting edge technology cutting edge technology in your processes, but also staying ahead when it comes to new developments in AI. Fourth, once you get comfortable with the tools and you are now catching up with the market, it would make sense to learn the basics of AI. Things like AI in general, machine learning, and generative AI basics. Most of the concepts in AI work on a very similar set of concepts that would be supervised learning, unsupervised learning, and for generative AI's Generative AI it would be GAN. All the image to image or text to image or text to text work on a similar concept and follow the same set of principles. So knowing basics would help you in general staying ahead in AI. You can look at free courses like these ones. So there are machine learning courses by Google. You can basically just skim through these lectures. There is generative AI basics by Google. There is a complete dedicated course on generative AI by Google. And then there are a bunch of courses that I have listed too. So if you'd be interested, go ahead and check out these courses. If you need, you know, beyond the video itself, you need some hand holding, this would be a great course to go from zero to nothing. It's very recently wrong, specifically keeping in mind 2020. My final advice would be to follow the right set of folks across social media channels like LinkedIn and Twitter. Join communities on Discord. So we have a Discord community specifically for generative AI enthusiasts. So if you're interested in joining the community, I have added the link to join the community in the description. My third advice would be to if you, if you feel very uncomfortable pursuing this right now, it would make sense to, you know, enroll for a course to at least get a kickstart of sorts. And then once you have decent understanding, kind of going on an autopilot of sorts where you follow these five things in order to ensure that you stay up to date with AI in 2024. Again, don't be afraid even if you didn't do much about AI in 2023, it's it's definitely not too late to start now. But I'd, but I'd encourage you to go as hands-on as possible because things keep changing very fast in AI. And to be very, very clear and honest, speed is of the essence. So I hope this was helpful and I'll see you guys in the next one.